Experiment 2. Study of the properties of acids and bases. Aim. To study the properties of acids and bases, HCl and NaOH, by their reaction with number 1, litmus solution, blue or red, zinc metal, and sodium carbonate. Requirements. Test tube. Test tube stand. Cork with a central hole. Delivery tube. Chemicals. Blue and red litmus solution or litmus papers, zinc granules, solid sodium carbonate, NaOH solution, distilled water, lime water, hydrochloric acid. Procedure Take about 5 ml of HCl in a test tube, dilute it with about 10 ml of distilled water. Take two test tubes. Take 1 ml of blue litmus solution in the first test tube and 1 ml of red litmus solution in the second test tube. Add about 2 to 3 drops of dilute HCl in each test tube. Or put 2 to 3 drops of dilute HCl on the strips of blue and red litmus papers. Observe and note down the change in color of the litmus solution or litmus paper. Now repeat the same procedure for any OH solution. Note the observations. Observation table with the columns serial number, experiment, observations for HCl and for any OH. A. Change in color of blue litmus solution or paper. In the case of HCl, it changes to red. In the case of NaOH, it remains the same. B. Change in color of red litmus solution or paper. In the case of HCl, it remains the same. In the case of NaOH, it turns blue. Take a few zinc granules in a test tube. Add about 2 ml of HCl in it. Wait for about 5 minutes till the reaction starts. Take a cork with a glass tube, delivery tube, and fit it to the test tube. A. Note the color of the gas evolved. B. Note the odor of the gas evolved. C. Bring a burning candle near the mouth of the delivery tube. Now repeat the same procedure for any OH solution. Note the observations. Reaction with zinc granules. Color and odor of the gas evolved. In the case of HCl, it is colorless and odorless. In the case of any OH, colorless and odorless. Bringing a burning candle near the mouth of the delivery tube. In the case of HCl, H2 burns with a pop sound. In the case of NaOH, H2 burns with a pop sound. Now take a pinch of solid sodium carbonate in a dry test tube. Add 1 or 2 milliliter of dilute HCl in it. A vigorous reaction starts. Note the color of the gas evolved. Pass this gas through fresh lime water and observe the changes produced. Now repeat the same procedure for any OH solution. Reaction with sodium carbonate. First, color and odor of the gas evolved. In the case of HCl, gas is colorless and odorless. In the case of NaOH, no reaction. B. Change observed in lime water. In the case of HCl, lime water turns milky. The gas evolved is CO2. In the case of NaOH, nothing happens. Inference. Number 1. 
dilute HCl turns the color of blue litmus solution of paper to red. No change in color of red litmus solution or paper. Any OH solution turns the color of red litmus solution or paper to blue. No change in color of blue litmus solution or paper. Now the second is zinc granules. They react with acid as well as base and liberate hydrogen gas. Number three, solid sodium carbonate reacts with diluted HCl, liberating carbon dioxide gas. Na2CO3 plus 2 HCl gives 2 NaCl plus H2O plus CO2. Now 2 NaCl is white insoluble. When CO2 gas is passed through fresh lime water, that is CaOH toys, white insoluble calcium carbonate is formed due to which lime water turns milky. So H2O plus CO2 plus CaOH toys gives CaCO3 which is insoluble plus 2H2O. If CO2 gas is further passed through the same milky lime water, then it becomes colorless due to the formation of soluble calcium bicarbonate. So CaCO3 plus H2O plus CO2 gives 2CaHCO3. Sodium hydroxide that is NaOH does not react with sodium carbonate.